Peace on. Today again is April the 29th, 2020. I am Midas of Real Great Bay, Hebrew Muslim Lord Shasin. And today I'll be reading from Tarot and Astrology, Enhanced Your Reading with the Wisdom of the Zodiac by Corrine Kenner. And today to continue off, continue where I left off last time when I read this book, I'll be reading page 45 Taurus the Hierophant Taurus plays for keeps especially when it comes to matters of spiritual value that's what makes the sign such a perfect match for the Hierophant the card of time honored values and beliefs Taurus is the sign of stability and convention while the Hierophant is a traditionalist who values faithfulness monogamy, and procreation. Both Taurus and the Hierophant are committed to the structure and propriety, along with the creature comforts and objects of beauty that represent spiritual treasures. In ancient Greece, the Hierophants were priests who guided their followers through the sacred rites of the Eleusinian Mysteries, a mythic scenario of death and rebirth. By enacting the story of Persephone, she was the maiden goddess who was kidnapped by Hades, the god of the underworld. Her disappearance plunged the world into a long winter of bitter cold and deprivation, but it was fertile ground for ruminations about life after death. Today, the role of the Hierophant lives on in every spiritual teacher and guide who leads followers through seasons of hope and experience. The word Hierophant shares the same origin as the word hierarchy, which means an organization with varying levels of authority. A hierophant is the final authority on matters of faith. He has the power to speak on behalf of God to explain the teachings of divine wisdom and to serve as a bridge between this world and the next. The glyph for Taurus looks like the head of a bull or the ring in a bull's nose. Most hierophant cards feature Taurus glyphs carved into pillars of the church or heavy earthy animals like bulls or elephants. Like bulls in a meadow, Taurus and the hierophant are committed to creature comforts as well as the comfort and stability of long standing ritual and practice. Both can be bullheaded, stubborn, immovable, and almost impossible to place it. Both can be bullish when it comes to the practice of their beliefs, but both can also be a rock, rock of solidarity and comfort in difficult times. They are determined and loyal, dedicated and enduring. In a sense, the Hierophant is a spiritual beast of burden. Taurus is the second sign. It rules the second house of the Zodiac, where astrologers look for information about money and possessions, as well as the spiritual values they represent. Taurus, in turn, is ruled by Venus, the planet of love, beauty, and attraction. In the tarot, Venus is assigned to the Empress card. She offers a physical form of nurturing that comp complements the Hierophant's spiritual training. The sun is in Taurus between April 21st and May 21st. Taurus marks the second month of spring that makes it a fixed sign. When Taurus is in play, the season of spring is in full flower. Taurus is also an earth sign. In both astrology and tarot, the element of earth symbolizes physical energy. It's a practical and reliable patient in preserving. It's feminine and receptive. It provides fertile soil for growth and development. Taurus rules the neck and throat, which means that Taurus can be remarkably expressive through spoken language and song. Similarly, Hierophants have also always relied on speeches, sermons, and hymns to lead and uplift their followers. This song. That was again Taurus from the Tarot and Astrology by Corrine Kenner. This song.